Shabanahan is back with us. Good morning. Some big old jobs available in the world of football coming up this summer. Yeah. Uh, huge vacancies including Barcelona, Liverpool, possibly even the England job. And I wonder if we'll see Zinedine Zidane or Jose Mourinho get any of these vacant posts. There's a good piece inside the Times today by Ian Hockey. Wanted by wealthy clubs and big nations. What is Zidane waiting for? Um, <laughs> he goes on to say it's coming up for three years since the head coach with the most concentrated record of elite club success this century stepped away from managing Real Madrid. He won three Champions Leagues on the trot from 2016 to 2018. Okay, so it's been a while maybe since he's won a trophy. But do you think it's time for him to come back out and take on one of these big clubs? Does he want to? Was the Real Madrid job the one that a Real Madrid legend, one of their best ever players, the one that like got him up for it? You know, some of these, some of these top, 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 top players, mm. they might not want to manage a club that's like, it's not Ronaldo and Messi. Can you see them manage anyone but mm. like the elite? I mean, he's you know? linked to the France role, isn't he? When Deschamps mm. will step back, perhaps that's something he's looking at. But more and more recently, with Chelsea's say poor performances, some fans have been chanting for the return of Jose Mourinho. Oh. And yesterday, actually, he spoke about this to uh, Fabrizio Romano. Mm. He said, "The first feeling is, I always say that the best thing football has is the fans. In my case, independent of results, of course, I had the luck always to have something to celebrate, something for the fans to have a good memory of me. But I think." something that they see is when you're committed to them <laughs> Josie, 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 I mean the last trophy he won was with Roma in the yeah. Conference League, he said mm. it was one of the most proudest achievements, 61 years young, you wonder if, if the game has moved on so much of late that would both of these managers cut it? I think uh, Mourinho, the problem is when like someone's asked me, would you have him at Aston Villa I'm like, no, would you want to see him in the Premier League, yes, but not at my club it's like you don't want the so baggage puts that comes. Oh, it's the baggage. It's, yeah, it's the baggage that comes with him. He's like, he's, he falls out with players, yeah. owners. You know, the whole Mourinho, like going back to Chelsea, didn't it's work out. It's a side out. show. Manchester isn't it? United There's, didn't yeah. work out. Yeah. I just don't think clubs are going to look at him now and think, like, you haven't got the old Mourinho. You know, this, this Mourinho now, I can see maybe a Portugal manager managing in Saudi. Mm. You know, he's just at the boxing in Saudi. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't surprise me if he maybe managed the club in Saudi. I don't see him coming back to the Premier League. I do love that the quote that he picked out where he's obviously talking about the fans and how important the fans are, which, of course, every manager will say. Players mm. will say it likewise. But it just feels that that's his sort of hint, like, keep keep saying my name, keep saying my name. You never know, I might come back for that reason. Would you like to see him back in the Premier League? Does he still have that for you, Natalie? I'm sort of like you. I understand what you're saying. There's a bit of a sideshow with Jose Mourinho, and that's the biggest issue, I suppose. And also... Does he play an electric, electrifying style of football? Is that no. his management? No, he's a little bit more pragmatic. We saw it. At, I mean, at, at Tottenham, Spurs, it wasn't it was, great, it was, was it? Dial, wasn't it? No, exactly. And so I'm not quite sure where he would fit in the in this current kind of Premier League, where what, what it club? seems to be more expansive. Exactly. What club? That's he's not going to go to like a club lower than top five. Is Would, he? He's, not, he's going to be like, I don't do that. I've managed the big clubs. I'm Mourinho. I'm not going to like, no offence to a Brighton. Hmm. Without yeah. sounding dis disrespectful to Maurizio Pochettino, because a number of Chelsea fans didn't want him anyway because mm -hmm. of Spurs. Yeah. But would you take him back at Chelsea next season if things continue to go from bad to worse? I don't think they would. I feel like he's been there. He's been back. You know, he managed them, was successful, yeah. went back there. Um, he left. I just don't see Chelsea can't go and get Mourinho. It's a lovely romantic link, obviously, because yeah. of the success he has brought them in the past. But I can't see it being the right. Move. How many times can you ex take you back? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I've know. Can't you lucky. tell us? I've never been lucky to be taken back that many times. You get one chance and you're out. You're never going to get two chances. So I, I don't see. I see like um, a national team. You know, um, Portugal, I'll see, but I'll definitely see him um, managing in Saudi. Mm. But he's probably still thinking, like, I still want a big job. Mm, I don't want to go yeah. to maybe Saudi yet, but I'd love to see him in the Premier League because the carnage he causes, basically. <laughs> the <laughs> arguments with the reporters. Mm, mm. You know, I'm sure we'd be giving our, our reporter stickers while we're asking him questions after a game and after he's lost. So he's good for the Premier League, isn't he? We're losing Jurgen Klopp. You know, sooner enough, we're going to lose Pep after a, probably a couple more years. So having Mourinho in the Premier League would be amazing again. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.